Uh, and during Red Lobster's island escape, all these new tropical fishes take me straight to the island. So I'm diving pork first into the lobster and shrimp in paradise with panko crusted lobster tail and jumbo shrimp and Captain Morgan barbecue glaze. Or the ultimate island seafood feast with tender crab, wood grilled lobster, and two island inspired flavors of jumbo shrimp. Because a summer without tropical flavors might as well be winter. This escape is too good to miss, so don't. Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the phrase today. Over. 
Down today in the last wire, the pipe back and not non encumbered mud sign beside the L. I'm going to use a double black for this since it's a black L. It says not recommended for extended salary unless ABB extends the average range. 7.5%, so it's a little higher than a typical 4, 5, or 6 percenter. So it's going to keep for a little while as long as it's not a hot forward beer. But we still need a date. That's all I want to say about that. Uh, don't think there's anything else you need to talk about, so we'll stop talking and start pouring. Nice hiss. Into the glass. Let's see what we get on this. Go down the center. Straight down the center pour on this. Look at that. Almost like a dessert here. Get two fingers of head. Definitely an off uh, white, definitely a uh, khaki colored, tan, gray, gray, beige, back and talk. Beige head on this one. Uh, oh, really creamy on the top. A little bit bigger bubbles, but then it has some really tight bubbles on the side. Good looking beer in the glass. Really good looking beer in the glass. <laughs> Over to the light, I'm not giving any to this glass at all. Black ale, and it is very black. Almost looks like a stout. So let's get a nose on this and see what we got, guys. Oh, yes. Rich roasted malt. Almost to the burnt carrot category there. I am getting a hint of coffee and a hint of chocolate. Bitter sweet chocolate. There may be some dark fruit in there. Very wonderful smelling beer. Maybe, there might be some hints of licorice in there, too. Very rich roastiness to the rum on this beer. Well, let's give it a taste see what we got. The head is down to about a finger and a half. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's so good. The roastiness of this beer is incredible. I am getting the coffee, I'm getting the chocolate. And it does have a little bit of a stronger bitterness on the back end. To me, it reminds me of the black IPA. Not quite the hoppiness up front that a black IPA is going to have. But it does have a strong bitterness on the back end. Uh, I don't have the IPUs with it here, but to me, it tastes like it's between the 50 and the 70 uh, category. Getting any of that seven and a half percent alcohol. Very well made beer. Very tasty. Very delicious. I love that rich, deep roasted malt taste that these black IPAs and black ales have. The chocolate is a bittersweet chocolate, like a bakery chocolate. Not a milk chocolate. Not getting a super amount of sweetness. I don't think there's any lactose used in the brewing of this beer. Very nice, sir. Very, very nice. I get the lacing on the glass. It's leaving a, a very nice lacing. Very well made beer. I will add that. And now that I've poured it, I will look here real close. And it's got 11, 13, 14 in black on the neck right here. So this was done in, on November 13th of 2014. So this beer is giving probably pretty close to the end of its shelf life. Just imagine what this would have tasted like in November. I think it would have probably been a little bit better. But it is what it is. They have dated their stuff. So, I mean, a lot of these black ink, digital, or digitized, Printings on the bottle. It's very hard to see when you've got a black beer in that bottle. So, uh, and I had not noticed it before, but now that the bottle is empty, you can see that when you hold it up to the light. It's got 1113 or 14 BLK 125. 
written in digitized black letters right here on the neck. So, very nice. They have stepped up to the plate. They have dated it. Hard to see when the beer is in it, but they have dated it. Hard to see it on the label, but they have made that effort. Can't fault them for that. That's not a Julian code or anything like that. As you can see, the head is basically faded. It's swirling this thing around. Wonderful lacing. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful looking beer. Wonderful aroma, too. I'm a big fan of Dark Horse beers. They do make some of the Crooked Tree and, and, and some of the beer. I, I cannot get this beer in Virginia. I bought this in North Carolina, and I've had some people send me some of their beers because they're out of Marshall, Michigan. And they're they don't come to Virginia for some damn reason. Distribution in Virginia sometimes sucks the high end. It really does. So, guess what it is? Guess they figure North Carolina, North Carolinians are, are drinking more of this than we can. I would like to see it. And a lot of that depends. It may be available for distribution in Virginia, but the distributors decide not to carry this beer. So we can't fault them for that. We fault the distributors around here for not wanting to carry this beer. So. That's the way it is in the beer world. It, take what you can get when you're in the state that you're in, and then sometimes you have to go to other states to get something else. I have uh, the great subscribers that I do that, that willingly send me beers to try, and I have the best subscribers on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, I do. I do. I really do. All right, guys, I'm not going to pop a gun anymore. This is tasting pretty tasty right now. Yeah. The last one out of the six pack. Let me go back and sip on this and, and pump on a, uh, a punch bar knuckle cigar with this and come back and do the final chunk on this one in just a minute and uh, uh, let her get a sip or two and we'll uh, see where it ends up. I'll be right back. Hey right, guys, I'm back. I just a little left here. Very nice, rich roasted malt in this. Very delicious. Very, very delicious. I'm getting. I'm getting rich roasted malt, some, some molasses, some coffee, a hint of some dark fruit, a uh, little bit of tobacco, bittersweet chocolate, very tasty beer, very, very tasty beer. This guy, the Dark Horse, really knows how to make a beer. They do. I've been very pleased with the beers that I've got with these guys. Uh, date on the bottle tells you how old the bottle is and I, I, I agreed that the black digitized writing on a beer that's got a, a black beer in it either a stout or a black ale or a black IPA it's sometimes hard to see with the beer in the bottle but they're they're making the attempt I mean it but it's on the label, but uh, they are making an attempt to put the date on the box. So that's a win-win for them and a win-win for us guys that is buying these type of beers. Uh, I, I enjoy this beer. I really, really do. Nice beer to finish up the evening with. So let's do the final chug on this one. Wonderful, rich, roasted malt aroma on this beer. And a great glass, a little glass, to enjoy this beer with. It, it, it lets you enjoy the aroma of the beer. If you want to put your nose to it and just smell what you're getting from the beer. The tube style glass uh, is a very nice glass to have. And, I mean, if, you, if, if, if I was to buy one glass, and whether it be this glass, a tube glass from the Dubois or or uh, the solid beer glass, a, a tulip style glass, really enhances these aromas uh, more so than a pint glass will. But if you only got a pint glass, it'll work just fine in that. But these glasses really enhance the aromas, and I enjoy drinking these style of beers uh, in, in these style of glasses. It's got that tulip shape to the top of them, which uh, lends to uh, enhancing those aromas. So. For, for me, guys, as far as I'm concerned, uh, with the date on the bottle, it's a 9 out of 10. For a black ale, the, uh, which is not a recognized style from the beer judging category, it's a very tasty beer. It is a very, very tasty beer. And if you like your beers, if 
you're a stout fan, you probably like this beer. Or if you're a black ale or a black IPA fan, you would probably like this. From the, the chocolate malt or the black pat malt, the darker, richer, roasted malt that they use to brew this beer. It's very, very tasty. So, 9 out of 10 for me, since it's got a date on the bottle. Over to the uh, Beer Advocate, Beer Advocate's mm. 88, which I think is a very low score for this stuff, for this beer. I was putting a numeric rating on this beer. It would probably be a 96 or a 97, somewhere in that area. Uh, very, very nice. Very nice. And over to, uh, over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 99 overall and 100 in style. So as far as a black ale goes, very great numbers uh, from these guys on that. So very nice from Dark Horse Brewing. If you can get your hands on Dark Horse Brewing, this is a reserve special black ale. I enjoyed this one thoroughly. I bought a whole six pack of them. This is the last one. I enjoyed all six of them, guys. Very, very tasty. And I would definitely buy this beer again. I have to go to North Carolina to get my hands on these beers. Uh, they're not uh, distributed in Virginia for some crazy, ripped up reason. But I wish they were. I wish they were. I would buy more of these beers if I get my hands on them locally. So, if you've had this one from Dark Horse, a reserve special black ale. Let me know what you think and how much more. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.